Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello to you. Good morning. Welcome back to the channel and welcome today to the Nürburgring. Now we're on the final stage of the Ring Wing Ting Tour. We started off in London collecting my brand new Porsche GT3 from Topaz, went over to Paris, drove via Reims and Spa to Aachen to join a supercar convoy to come here to the Nürburgring Nordschleife, where today it is time to drive all four of my track cars out here on the Nordschleife circuit. So I'm, needless to say, a little bit apprehensive about this. It's a very dangerous place, nicknamed the Green Hell. But let's take a quick look at the cars, talk a moment about them before we fire them up and head out to experience this, all four on the Nordschleife. As I'm sure many of you will already know from the channel, my four track-focused cars that we've brought here to the Nürburgring today, they're all completely different in terms of configuration, gearboxes, color specification, of course, as well. But let's take a quick look up the lineup. The McLaren 675 LT Spider, the Mercedes AMG GTR, the brand new Porsche 911 GT3, and finally at the end, the Aston Martin Vantage GT8. Now, the McLaren needs no real introduction, I think. It's a proper supercar, no disguise needed. 175 horsepower, mid-engine, rear-wheel drive. Well, all cars are rear-wheel drive. They're all the track-focused version of their respective models. I think we can say they're all supercars. Some might argue one or two are sports cars. But then we get to what is traditionally a more comfortable Grand Tourer, but grown up here, the AMG GTR, the track version they developed here at the Nordschleife. And in fact, it did a seven minute, 11 second time around the track under a magazine test. Then we have the brand new addition to the collection, the GT3, the Gelbgrün car, 500 horsepower, rear mounted, traditional 911 setup, a car that is very much focused for the track here with the harnesses, the roll cage, the only car to have those in it and now with 1,200 kilometers on the clock as well. And at the end, the most beastly of them all. It might not be particularly fast, but the Vantage GT8 certainly sounds the best. Dual tone color scheme, of course, naturally aspirated V8 up front and a manual gearbox, the six speed manual, the proper old school, wearing the biggest wing with the loudest exhaust. Maybe we'll also put on the additional front splitters, but the four cars ready here as the sun comes up. The track is still slightly wet, but it'll be time to jump in in a moment and get them out onto this legendary and iconic track, the Green Hell, because of quite how dangerous it is. A busy day today, as you can see, with all the cars rolling through in the Tourist and Farton entrance here. But needless to say, I'm quite excited and I'm going to be driving the brand new one, the GT3. Fast forward a little bit and we've had a few incidents out on the track, unfortunately, which have basically delayed our day a little bit. However, the upshot of that is it's now dry. The track surface should be dried out so we can get all of the cars on and basically warmed up and set for today. The barbell on the flat six will obviously open the exhaust mode and put it in the louder setting. I'll be driving it mostly in automatic. Maybe I'll go into manual depending how I feel as we go around. But the air conditioning is blasting out naturally. We've got the LT right in front of us. The car's all parked here at Apex. We've got the GT8 alongside. That sounds good. We're going to follow the GT8 just to get all of the noise out of that. The other thing I'm going to do for the first time is drive with the harnesses. So given I've got this car with six point harnesses for the driver, I'm obviously going to enjoy being held nice and securely in the car when we're out on the track. Now I don't yet have passenger harnesses. That's going to be something for the future um, to install. Maybe even going with some bright green ones to match the car. Let's see what happens, watch this space. That feels very snug and very secure. The thing I've got to remember though, is where is my ring card? Because if I don't have that to hand, it's going to be a little bit awkward. Yeah, one of those, just to get around and out on the track. There is an app as well, which is quite trick. Anyway, we are nearly set. All the cars are running to warm up, and then we'll get out and head on to uh, Taurus and Farton at the Nürburgring. Now, as we head down to the track, Joe Achilles is driving the Vantage GT8. We've got Schmark driving the AMG GTR, my manager. And then at the back, we've got Benzine Ben driving the 675 LT. Please do excuse the beeps from the seatbelt detector. Of course, it's the safety system. Wearing the harnesses, it doesn't know that they're done up. No car does. And all it knows is that the regular plug uh, isn't being used, but that will stop in a moment. You come down here to a very busy Tourist and Farton entrance. But fingers crossed, we will be able to head out with all of the cars together and go immediately out onto the track, which is, needless to say, quite exciting. I think a few photographers are gonna get some pretty good pictures today. I hope so, I'm looking forward to seeing what comes out of this. But here we are, coming past Devil's Diner to go out onto the Nürburgring Nordschleife with all four cars together. All right then, the lanes to exit onto the track. So I've gotta do this with my harness on. 
I can't. Oh, there we go. Got it. Cool. So Joe will go out first. I'll get rid of that ticket. Here we are. LT is following through at the back. Just about to see them coming up. There we go. People merge from the track already, but here we are. Onto the Nurburgring. We've seen videos before with the up with Misha, but this time around, it's all go. It's all us out on the circuit. You can see the LT coming up. This is ridiculously cool in the sunshine. The noise of the GT8 in front of us. Obviously, it's not Mac 10. This is a dangerous place to be driving, but it feels cool to be here with all the cars, driving them how they're supposed to be driven. These are track cars. This is the most grueling track in the world. It's the Nürburgring with all four of you in the mirror is so cool. This is epic. This is absolutely epic. You can put this car into PDK Sport where it will shift even later. We're doing just this, using a few of the revs. Sounds monumentally epic. Yellow flag, yellow flag, yellow flag, yellow flag. That could be fluids, that could be an accident, that could be all sorts of different things. Normal procedure here at the ring to be exceptionally careful in these conditions. You never know what is around the corner. No overtaking under yellow flags or anything like that either, of course. Fortunately, it's not a red flag. A red flag would be complete course shutdown, which would be very, very sad right now. Where has this happened? The stewards are waving at those flags frantically. Let's hope it looks a little bit wetter over this side. Ah, oh, there we go. Car has just, I think, stopped at the side of the track, but now we're past the incident. That means we can start to open up a little bit more. So, corners that are familiar. There are a lot of people spectating today, unsurprisingly, given quite how busy the track is. squeeze through, indicate to let him through. That's cool. That's one of these. He's probably a little bit more run-in than I am. We're split up a bit thanks to some traffic, but having the time of my life right now. Where is that GTA though? I want to hear more of it. One of the most famous parts of the track, the carousel. We're going around the outside thanks to some very low cars and not really knowing the best way to take it. But nonetheless, the four together must look epic right now. The view at the back of the GTA is so cool. Has to be said, Joe is shifting that thing nicely. down towards Brunchen then, one of the busiest parts of the track, where there will no doubt be a lot of people spectating and watching us coming through. Wow, that's an awful lot of people there. That's crazy. Insane. Concentrating a little bit, the worst place to mess it up in a car like this, because everybody is filming you as you go straight into a fence, which is not a good look, I can assure you of that. Now we've got Little Carousel. <laughs> to the end 
under the lap with the GT8s in front under the Audi Sport Gantry, the GTR and the LT following behind. What an extraordinary experience that was to go around with all the cars around the Nordschleife. And there's a bit of a traffic jam ahead, so you need to cool it off, make sure the brakes have enough time to cool as possible. I think that was epic. Absolutely epic. Loosen off the belts a little bit. Wow. So, all the track cars have done the Nordschleife. Now I'm gonna pick one and go for another lap because I have to do it, right? Here comes El Noisy One, Joe in the GT8. That's a big smile on his face. That's what we like to see. Park up all the cars back here. Schmark in the AMG GTR. Slightly less of a smile, but you know. We were suffocated by the police safe system. Oh, yeah. oh, the Mercedes safety detection system pulling in the seatbelt on you. Yeah, That's why you left a big gap behind. And braking as well. Oh man. Safety systems, hey? Who would have them? And then benzene in the LT. Here at Apex, that sounded good. The grumble of the GTR. Let's come up and catch a word. How was it, benzene? Awesome. Lapping the Nordschleifer in an LT. First time I've got to drive this car quickly. Oh my God. The like, front end, right? It's the way incredible. it turns. Yeah, just like, I was saying to Joey, like I can just about get a sense of just how good it is, but I'd need like 10 more laps to even get close <laughs> to how good it is. Yeah, monumental. How relieved are you that everything's back in one piece? I'm pretty relieved, but I might take something out again now. But Don't for now, I've trusted all of you and you've, you've been successful. <laughs> Thank you. Alrighty, Misha is back. Although it's not, it's not gonna be an upset this time. No. AMG GTR problem, the doors don't close properly. You have to pull it very hard. Uh. It's the same in all GTs, GTSs. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. You've been around in a beast of the green hell before. Yeah, sure. I have, but it had four point, yeah. Four point four, harnesses four point and track harnesses pack. And, yeah, exactly. Well, this is, this is GT spec, road car spec. Um, so, it might be raining on certain parts of the track. But, but we have traction control button. We do, are we gonna be using it? I don't know. I don't think so. so. <laughs> The track has literally just opened, right? Yep. Literally just now. There have been a lot of incidents today. Let me give you this, if I may. Yes. But there is, if you take the, the middle There lane, is, I the... know, I know, but I've got a camera on that window. Ah. Oh, I've yeah. uh, ruined myself. Okay. So let's yeah, not yeah. curb the car. There we go. Come on. Yes. Done. And there we go. Cool. So off we go. Not many cars in front of us. Yep. No chicane this year, so you can yeah, you pretty much go straight out, out here. here. So, do you want to have some instructions no, or do you want to talk about some other stuff? I think we should have some little bits of instruction. Okay, then aim for the left part of the bridge. And after that, aim for the orange barrier on the far right. Uh, there. In the compression, you can shut the table brake to settle the car. Then aim for the left curbstone. Yep, enough of that. Left curbstone, the right curbstone. And aiming for the orange barrier. Very nice pops, very nice pops. Orange barrier <laughs> turning in here and here on the brakes again. And you can take the right curbs on if you really want to, not necessarily then. Left curbs on, stay on the left at the side, start steering in, tap on the brake and steer now. Yeah, perfect. And to the left side, going on the throttle from here, aiming for the orange barrier on the right and slightly before on the brakes here. Brake. Yeah, because there's a tarmac transition, the car can unsettle. Left curb, right curb, transitioning back to the left side and towards the right curb stone. Two kilometer sign on the left. Tarmac transition for 2018. Tap on the brake, enough, and very gently here. Slight bump, yep. Towards the left part of the track, left corner, transitioning to the right. Double braking point incoming, meaning brake. Let go, steer in, and brake again, and steer into the right curb stone. Aiming towards the left curb stone, then orange barrier on the left. At the right curb stone, tap on the brake, tap here and towards the left curb stone and transitioning over to the right side, aiming for the 3 kilometer sign on the left. And aiming for the left corner, uphill, uphill, just tap on the brake, at the orange barrier, enough, at the orange barrier on the left, start steering right, now to the right curb stone, transitioning to the outside and back to the right side. So just keep the steering wheel like that, exactly perfect, ta-da! Car behind, that's the Apex Taxi! <laughs> okay, left curb stone. Left, side. perfect. Left curb stone, right curb stone on the throttle from here. Going into the Metzgesfeld. 
the Apex 720S is behind us. Uh oh, <laughs> left curbs, the right curbs, I'm going straight, let the car I'm pass. I'm gonna let it come straight yep. past. Yep, aiming for the small white sign on the brake here in the straight line. Now let go on the throttle to the left curb, turn transitioning to the right at the end of the right curb on the brake at the beginning of left curb, turn in, brake, turn left curb stone very nicely done to the right curb Yokohama sign on the left aim for that motorcycle sign on the brake stay longer left so brake stay 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 go in 1950s this corner was renamed as the corner of death because there was no guardrail and everyone went downhill at the fence on the tap on the brakes here to the left curb stone right curb stone left fence left fence mid on the brakes here aiming for the second curb stone on the right miss Hit, not literally, no, miss. miss this one. And yeah, perfect. And transitioning miss to the one. left, staying left, and on the brakes here. Let go, steer in, right curb stone, and brakes again, and left. Left curb, right curb, 90 sign on the left, stay left, after exclamation mark, start steering gently to the right. Good. Aiming to the left side, stay left, aim for the right small white sign on the fence. A bit more left, and on the brakes and going straight to the 143. Perfect entry for the carousel. And exit. And aiming towards the 145 small white sign on the left. After that to the right curb stone at the end of the right curb. Transition to the left one. Tap on the brake, settle the car, steer in. On the throttle to the right curb stone. At the right curb on the brake at the end of the curb, steer in. Tap, steer. Left curb stone, transition to the right one. Moving over to the left side, that orange barrier tap on the brake, steer in, brake, and steer. Very well done. End of the first curb stone on the brake, end of the second curb stone, steer in. So brake, steer, right curb stone tight, transition to the left side before the end of the curb on the brake. So here, brakes, steer, tight, transitioning over to the left side, going back to the right side before the bottom on the brakes here. And steering in the left curb, so you can take the right curb stone, go over it. Going straight to the 169, fence on the right, fence, 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 and now left curb stone, left curb stone, after the jump on the brake, at the end of the curb, turn into the right. After, where's our air time? <laughs> Gently transition to the left curb stone, aiming for the right side, at the end of the right curb, turning into the left, don't brake, don't lift. No, sorry. No problem. <laughs> End of the left curb stone, steering in, don't brake, don't lift. Towards the right curb stone, steer, 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 right, straight. To the right curb stone, left curb stone, going straight, aiming for the right fence. At the fence, 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 yeah. And now on the brake, going straight to the left side, and now to the right side. At the end of the right curb stone, tap on the brake, settle the car, steer in. To the left curb stone, smile and wave to the photographer, transitioning over to the right side. Staying on the right, black marks on the curb stone, on the brake. Here, brake at the end of the curb stone, steering into the left, into the mini carousel. Stay, 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 stay out to the outside. And going back to the left side, second graffiti on the tarmac, braking point before the end of the curb, turn in. Brake, steer. Right curb stone, aiming for the 186. Marshall post on the left, to the fence, close to the fence, and after that, gently to the right curb stone. So maybe let's hop in for a taxi lap. Maybe we can do that as well. Yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that felt like pretty perfect conditions to go for a fast, a reasonably fast lap in the GTR. At least it's done now. A couple of laps here on the ring. I'm gonna be doing many more with the GT3. We'll be back again with Misha. A big thanks to him. His channel is down below. Go give him a follow as always if you wanna see what's going on here at the Nürburgring in Germany. Anyway, what an experience taking all four of my cars around the Nordschleife. I'm still pinching myself a little bit. I want to see some pictures. Hopefully there are some out there from our little lap. Hopefully there are some awesome ones with all the cars together because I don't think it's every day that you really do that kind of thing. That was the whole, I guess, purpose of bringing the cars here was to do that. Anyway, bucket list check. 
taken four cars around the ring together, done some awesome photos. Well, there's a 599 right there as well. Just Nürburgring things. Now that the afternoon has turned out to be much, much nicer than I think anybody ever expected. Anyway, I will wrap this one up. Big shout out to Misha as well and Apex here at the Nürburgring. Thank you very much for watching as always, guys. And I will catch up with you again very, very soon. Cheers.